everyone and welcome to Princess Pantry. Today we're going to be making Christmas hot chocolate. Oh, I just love hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite treats and I also love Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays. So we're going to combine the two and make Christmas hot chocolate today. There's nothing better than when you're outside playing in the snow or the rain on a cold day than coming inside to your house all decorated for Christmas and having special hot chocolate. Mm, it makes it so wonderful and also helps create memories mm -hmm. and wonderful times with your friends and family. Or a tradition. <laughs> yes, which are also really wonderful around the Christmas time. So how about we go ahead and talk about what we need for our Christmas hot chocolate? Would you like to start, Cinderella? Sure. The most important ingredient to hot chocolate is milk. And we, of course, are going to use the silk almond milk because we like to make everything allergy friendly. The second most important ingredient is hot chocolate mix. We're going to go with the Starbucks hot chocolate mix because it doesn't already have dairy mixed into the powder, which is actually surprisingly hard to find. But if you do have a dairy allergy and you are a little bit more conscious of this, the Starbucks brand is a good way to go. Mm -hmm. And of course, no hot chocolate is complete without some whipped cream. And we mm. like to go with the Ready Whip Whipped Cream. Apparently they do have a dairy-free option, but we haven't found it yet. So hopefully we'll get it sometime soon. The other thing and the funnest part of hot chocolate is decorating. Oh, and the marshmallows. Oh, that's right. You can't forget the marshmallows. Mm -mm. Oh, it's another tasty, delicious treat for our Christmas hot chocolate. So we're going to use marshmallows, whatever brand best suits your needs. We're also going to use frosting. This way we can decorate the rim of our uh, hot chocolate mugs with fun, beautiful colors for Christmas. Yes. Well, let's get started. First, we need to measure out our milk into a saucepan so we can warm it up. This part you should do with a parent or guardian present. I'll get the pan. Wonderful, I'll get the cup. So with almond milk, you usually have to shake it first, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Way to shake it, shake it. <laughs> so let's pour the milk into the cup you're gonna be using so you know how much you want, and it's easier to divide afterwards. You could also use a measuring cup if you want, or just eyeball it, but we're gonna use this. It's good to do it over the pan too, that's a good idea. That's good, so then we can put marshmallows and cream. And I guess we should do that twice. <laughs> Absolutely, we both want hot chocolate. We do. Perfect. Now let's go over to the stove and heat it up. Yeah, let's go. Now that our milk is heating up, let's focus on the rims of our glasses. So, <laughs> you're gonna need to get your frosting. Open it up. There we go. And then you just take your glass and you just dip it right in there. Now, a newer thing of frosting is good because if you have too much used, you won't, if you have a handle in your glass, you won't be able to get too far into your frosting. Oh, that makes sense. So you gotta get it really in there, don't be afraid. Ooh, it looks like Christmas snow. It does. Would you like to do yours, Aurora? I do wanna do it. This looks fun. It is fun. <gasps> Ooh, that's Ooh. a good one. I think I need to do mine just a little bit more. There we go. And then you can choose what colors you wanna put on the rim of your glass. I think I'm gonna go with red first. But you get your sprinkles and you just go over a, a little plate so that way you don't Ooh, get it everywhere. That looks really pretty. Doesn't it? I love it, Cinderella. Thank you. I think you should do some gold ones too. Those are pretty big though. I think I might put those on my um, whipped cream. <gasps> oh, I see. I think I'm gonna just keep the smaller ones for my glass. See, you've done hot chocolate before. I remember I you have. did Princess Hot Chocolate. I did! With, with my friend Ariel. And my friend Winnie. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of move this around to get everything. I'm trying to keep all the sprinkles on this glass. I'm not doing the best job of it. <laughs> but anyways, there's not any, no such thing as too many sprinkles. So then your glass will look something like this. All right, I'm gonna decorate mine too. Oh yes, please do. Try not to get mine as 
all over the place as Cinderella did. I'm good at cleaning, it's fine. You are, it is one of your many talents. I mean, you did a lot of red, so I'm gonna try doing a little more green. Oh, that's a good idea. It reminds me of my fairy fauna. Oh yes, she loves green, she would she like does. that. She would like lots of green on there. And you can get the sprinkles on the inside, them anywhere really. Never too many sprinkles. I want a little bit of white showing because it reminds me of Christmas snow, but this is how mine's turning out. Perfect, and this is mine. I love it. Should we go check on the milk? Mm-hmm. Some hot milk coming in. Ooh, that looks perfect. Doesn't it? Well, the next step would be to mix in our hot chocolate. All right, well, I will get it all open. Wonderful. Oop. <laughs> looks like the perfect temperature. Yes, looks very toasty and cozy. Move it this way so it's not perfect. So I should add in two packets? Mm-hmm, because we're having two things of hot chocolate. Woo! Oh my goodness, Cinderella! It's like a hot chocolate cloud. Yes, it is, it's a party. It's exciting. You're making me nervous. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'll start stirring while you get the second packet. Perfect. So you definitely want to make sure you stir this really good so that there's no clumps of hot chocolate in there because it's always interesting when you have a drink of hot chocolate and some of the powder breaks in your mouth. <laughs> I actually yes. don't mind it too much. Kind of a fun surprise. It's definitely different. All right. No hot chocolate cloud that time. Well, I already did it once. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Another one in the pot. Now we just gotta mix this one and then we're ready to decorate our hot chocolate, which is my favorite part, yes. besides drinking it. Well, yes. <laughs> all right, it's all stirred in, so let's start ladling in our chocolate. Okay. Ooh, this smells so good and chocolatey. Mm hmm I can't wait to eat. Have some. You think that's, that's enough? That's good. Yeah. All right. Let's get mine. Would you like me to hold it or are you going to hold it? Um, I got it. Look how pretty the sparkles look with the hot chocolate, everyone. Well, sprinkles, sprinkles. It's all the same thing. Sprinkles, sparkles, sparkles, and sprinkles. Almost there. And then we can do the funnest part. Actually, why don't you just maybe pour that in the sure. last part. Perfect. I'm gonna move this out of the way. We definitely need good room to decorate our hot chocolate. Oh, I'm right. excited. Well, let's put in our marshmallows. Mmm, I love marshmallows. They remind me of snowballs. Oh, yes. I think I need lots and lots of marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Well, the more treats, the better, right? Oh, yes. You can't make it too sugary. Do you think Santa Claus likes lots and lots of marshmallows? I know Santa Claus likes lots of marshmallows, treats, cookies. Mm -hmm. I also like to... So he leave... keeps his fabulous figure. <laughs> right. I also his like jolly to... figure. Mm -hmm. I also like to leave out uh, carrots for the reindeer. Mm -hmm. Or oats. Oats, that's a good idea. Maybe mix with some cranberries. Very festive. I bet all your woodland creature friends like that too. They do. Actually, I like to make them like little creature treats during mm -hmm. the holidays. I make my mice outfits. <laughs> all right. I think now, we're ready for the ready whip. <laughs> yeah, now that we have our marshmallows all the way to the top of the glass, you know, it's pretty high, so that way you can get a lot of really good mountain of whipped cream on the top, and then you have a lot more room to decorate. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Yes! That's a nice one. You got a little cream on yours, sorry. <laughs> That's all right, I can always use extra whipped cream. You have a really good face on yours. 
Mm. Perfect. Now it's time to decorate. Yay. I think I'm going to do a lot of green since I have a lot of red already. I'm going to do some gold. I've always been a fan of gold, like my crown. Mm -hmm. Do some gold balls. You know, another thing that I've seen my friend Snow White do before is she takes candy cane and she crushes it up and she puts that on top. Which would be. Or put a little candy cane on the inside. Oh, would no, be. we should have gotten candy canes. We should have. We're so silly. It would have made it a bit more festive, but you know, that's the nice thing about doing some kind of decorating like this is you can really do it however you like. It's your interpretation of, you know, Christmas and the holidays. Same thing with like Christmas cookies or a Christmas cake. Just have to do it however you think uh, best represents the Christmas in your eyes. Plus you're gonna eat it anyways. Right. I'm gonna do some red balls too. Mm. Here we go. I was having a hard time opening it. These red balls are not wanting to come out. There we go. Don't they look sort of like Rudolph's nose? <laughs> I think so. Wow, these are looking festive. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna put some of these white frosty sprinkles. I don't know if they're gonna show up, but I'm gonna put them on there anyways. Maybe it'll just look glittery. Maybe. I like glitter. I do too. Glitter's life. <laughs> Here, I'll try a little bit too. See if it just gives a little pizzazz to my hot chocolate. I always like pizzazz. <laughs> pizzazz or as a taz. Oh, I think mine's done. <gasps> Me too. I love it. Well, let's do a cheers to Christmas hot chocolate. Cheers. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. It's so delicious. I love hot chocolate. Me too. Well, thanks for joining us for this episode of Princess Pantry. And don't forget to comment below all about how you made your own special Christmas hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Do you have different uh, decorations you like to put on it? What's your tradition with hot chocolate? And when do you like to drink it? <laughs> and don't forget to follow us on all of our social media like Instagram and Twitter and, and Facebook. Facebook. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. us. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.